This is Ace and Friends. It's a wonder I'm even here today. I, I, I could have been killed on the way back up here. I'll tell you in a second. Fast, fun, and funny. Welcome to, I don't know what episode this is, of Ace and Friends. I am the modern day Mr. Rogers. My friends Riggins and Tag D. Rob are here. I got to remember somebody to remind me to, uh, to mention to my sister about coming back on this week, on mm-hmm. Wednesday. I forgot uh, last week, but I almost died on the way back up here. My house is literally, if the light is green, 60 seconds away from here. And I was, so for everybody who doesn't know, we record, we do the Ace and TJ show. And then uh, I leave while TJ records his podcast with Robin Riggins. And then I come back and we do uh, Ace and Friends. So I go home and work on Ace and Friends and have a bite to eat. And I put the baby down real quick. Then I came back up here. And as I'm driving back up here, you know, Hustle along because um, I was leaving anyway, right as Rob took. Because a lot of times I just come sit in the parking lot because I don't want to waste anybody's time. I had the show all formatted out, ready to go. And I'm Rob texts me, uh, TJ's done. I was on my side, so on my way. And I'm driving along. And have you ever just zoned out while you're driving? I was thinking about stuff. And I'm driving along and I come to this, there's a roundabout by my house that leads to the red light, go across the street and I'm in the parking lot here. Light is red. I see the light is red. Mm. I'm clearly looking at the red light. And I got right to the, the line where you're supposed to stop and went, oh my God, this light is red. Uh, yeah, I've done that. And I, and I glanced to my left quickly and the traffic is stopped. And I glanced to my right again as I hit the brake, and thankfully nobody was coming. Yeah. So I believe, I believe that light, those lights had changed, and I was about to get the green light. But when I went through it, that Joker was red. Yeah. <laughs> you just not you're not paying ooh. attention. Yeah, you're kind of thinking about other things. And I just held my breath for a second, even though a quick glance told me I'm I'm okay, but just like, oh. Yeah. Okay, nobody plowed into me. I gotta go. I gotta stay focused. You've been driving for a long time. You can figure this out. It just freaked me out for a second. Yeah. I, I haven't had anything like that happen in a long time. And I was just like, like I was at the way too late to hit the brakes and stop. And just like, oh my God, that light is red. Yeah. But then it's amazing how quickly everything goes left, right. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah. A lot of people do that, especially on the interstate. You just forget how you got somewhere. You realize you've been driving. And you're like, I don't really. Remember no, how I, I even got here before you like did I? I drove all the way home. Yeah, okay, I guess I did. I'm just like zoned out. A lot of times it happens in the morning. I get here and I'm like, huh, cool. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. Sick. Speaking of which, I need to. I want to ask Reagan's opinion about something that happened this morning with Rob in the damn parking lot out here because I don't know. I thought it was kind of weird. Maybe it wasn't. Next, hang on. Ace and friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Back again with our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies. Now, uh, Richard, tell us about this cash out equity thing, instant cash, add water, and there it is. It is. It, 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 that's how it is. <laughs> instant equity. I mean, you, t- you do the application today, you could close today and get your money in five days. There's no underwriting. There's no appraisal. You know, I think somebody went, didn't you do something like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly yeah. what I did. Instant equity. <laughs> it's very easy. And Richard yeah. walks you through the process. Find out more at homewithrichard.com. Ace and friends. So Rob and I get here first every morning. Typically here to the show, I get here before Rob. Um, and I was running late today because the baby was the baby's teething, waking up a lot. I was up at like 11. I was up a little after midnight. I didn't go back to sleep until probably 1.30 or so. And then I got here this morning and the entire parking lot is empty. Now there are no assigned spots, but everybody kind of has a place where they park. 
And so I, you know, pulled into where I normally pull in and uh, kind of got my stuff together in the seat. And as I go to open the door, Rob's car is pulling in and he normally parks next to me. So he pulls in there and he stops. And there's an awkward moment of, am I, op- am I getting out? Am I not getting out? What is Rob? Is he backing up? What is, what is, what is going on? Then I get out and Rob's like, had just, his car kind of rolled forward and it stopped again. And I was like, He's waiting for you to What move. are we doing? Yeah. And Rob goes, I was just trying to give you space. I'm waiting to park. I was giving you room. Yeah. And I wanted to go use one of these other 40 spots. No, this yeah, is also that's where a good I park point. Now. <laughs> like, that's where I park now. Sorry. Like, there are other, like, park anywhere. I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. I was like, you got nine other 10 go, spots to park in. Go here. on the what other side of the car. On the other side. Yeah. Back up something. I guess I could have. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? I'm like five in the morning. I'm not just like, my brain is not on you. And, okay? that's, and that's fair. That's fair. It's I, like the I, urinal. I understand that. It's like going to a urinal and you're like the only person at the urinal and the person comes and, you know, uses and the one right next, right next to you. To you. It's you. like, I don't know. I mean, one that, where was I the other day? I had that happen. Oh, Saturday. I was at Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden shooting an edition of Ace of Large. I went into the restroom before I left. And there are three urinals. And... Two of them are open to my. I'm at the one on the right, all the way to the end. Yeah, you and always a guy go to walks the in, end. and he goes right into the middle. I was like, dude, and I wanted to go. Hey, man, there's another one. <laughs> like, That's you could weird. Down one. I yeah, you always go to the end to me anyway. Uh, but somebody that gets in right next to you, that's weird. Yeah, it was just very odd, and it kind of threw, it was like a. There was a moment of like, oh, you could have gone to that other. Like, why? Why? Who picks the middle in this in that yeah. scenario? What'd you think about those daffodils out there, <laughs> big man? <laughs> Uh, why don't you take two steps and get the hell out of my face? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I guess you, guess we're gonna do this now. Yeah. That's where, so. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Oh, there was a big anniversary yesterday that brings us to a little game we can play. Well, actually, Riggins and Rob can play it because I'm curious to know how much they know being millennials. Um, if you are Gen X, you will love this. Well, millennials will too. Next. Hang on. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenic. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenic. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenics, where all you have to lose is pain. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Ace and Friends. Fast, fun, and funny. This is Ace and Friends. Um, so I am older than Riggins and Rob. Uh, they're very close in age. It's two years apart, year and a half one year, apart? One year. Yeah, just one year. Okay. Okay. You're 37? 36. He's, I thought Rob's 38. Well, I'm turning 37 in, in, in June. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. That's fair. Yeah. So um, yesterday was a big day. I saw this on Twitter yesterday. Uh, 40 years ago yesterday was the actual date, March 24th, 1984, was the actual date that the Breakfast Club movie alleged, you know, happened. Mm. That was the date they were all on a Saturday. Saturday, March 24th, 1984 was the date that they were all in detention for the movie The Breakfast Club. Are you? Have you ever seen the movie? I haven't. Robert, I know what it you? is. Yeah, I've seen it. I hate it. Yeah, okay. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> But anyway, uh, but I found a list of things. This is said, ask your kids this. And I thought, oh, wait, this might be more fun to ask Riggins and Rob this. Um, being that they are, I think you'll get a lot of these. A lot of these you're, you're, you're going to get. For example, um, John Paul, George, and blank. Ringo? Correct, Rob. Oh, oh. I thought that was one name. No, the John Beatles. Paul George. No, it does sound like a good I, yeah, I should have given a better. Yeah, I would know that. Okay, give us this. Uh, you'll know this one. Baby, sporty, ginger, scary, and baby, sporty, uh, posh. Posh, correct. Uh, it's a band name. Steely, Dan. 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 Good job, Rob. Uh, please don't squeeze the. No idea. 
I have no idea what that Rob, is. Rob, uh, please don't squeeze the Charmin. It was an old advertisement for Charmin tissues. Hmm. Mr. Whipple was the man's name, and when I was a kid, they would say uh, that was their catchphrase. Please don't squeeze. Please it. don't squeeze the Charmin because it's so soft. Hmm. Uh, another ad. Where's the beef? beef Correct, man. Rob. Um, break me off a piece of that. Kit Kat bar. Correct. Uh, blank. Take me away. Oh, Cowboy. On. No, it's. Cal would be gone. could be correct yeah, if it was a song. Time. It's a product. Correct, Rob. Calgon, yeah. take me away. That's on me. I should. Calgon. Yeah, Calgon. It's. A, I, I've heard the phrase, but I have no idea what Calgon is. To be honest with you. Inquiring minds want to. No. Correct. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One more. Want to be starting. Something. Something. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Sandy Yo is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a bunch more of those. Maybe we'll come back to them after a while. That's fun. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Uh, today's edition of The Good News includes a real life Iron Man and a pretty amazing story from the University of Georgia that would definitely make you feel good next. Ace and Friends. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. We worked with Richard for years, and you know all the ins and outs, and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right. We have a lot of options. You know, This one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month, so that really changes her life and her you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out is what we call it in the business. Cash out. Cash out. out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five-minute phone call right now, 704-800-4719, 704-800-4719, or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. There's a lot of news out there, but Ace and Friends just want to give you the good news. There's a mom in Georgia who is driving with her two sons when she crashed into a river and five girls from the University of Georgia saved them. Four jumped in while the other called 911. One had to do CPR on the youngest kid, but everybody is okay. The woman and her two sons got released from the hospital a few days later. She said she was planning to meet up with the girls just so she could thank them in person. That's amazing. A lot of times, you know, that 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 stereotype would be in a situation like that. They might just like, oh, gosh, we should call and do something. But not only did they call, <laughs> but they jumped in and went out and got active and actually saved the lives of these people, which is pretty fantastic. Um, an animal control officer near Toronto helped out a skunk with a peanut butter jar stuck on its head. <laughs> uh, the skunk's okay. No word if it's sprayed or not. Everybody's fine. And people in New York can uh, pop into a Brooklyn bar now called the Mallard Drake. They can pop in tonight and get their clothes ironed for free. A guy known as Iron Man has been doing this off and on since 2016. He irons clothes in a tuxedo on Monday nights, and it's first come, first serve. So I guess you just bring your clothes that need to be ironed. To the bar? To the bar. It's a weird gimmick. Yeah, you can bring something in and have it ironed. You can give him the clothes off your back because he does bring a robe that you can wear. <laughs> what is that? It's weird. <laughs> so I guess if you have a couple of things that give you a problem, you just go to the bar, grab a drink, He'll iron your stuff. That's pretty sweet. And he'll iron your stuff. That's so strange. That is weird. Isn't it weird, though? Yeah. Extremely. Very weird. And you know he's not a millennial. Because he uses an iron, yeah. Yeah. So you don't own an iron, Riggins? I do. Oh, you do? That's yeah. right. Rob, do you? You no. don't. Okay. No. How often do you use your iron? Rarely. Because you really, other than, you know, suit pants, you know, dress slacks, mm -hmm. you know, I really don't ever have to iron anything. Sometimes I will iron something just like, this probably needs to be touched up a little bit. Yeah, like a button-down Yeah, like shirt. it just makes me feel good to know that that's freshly pressed. Mm -hmm. And every time I do it, Amanda's like, oh, what are you doing? Steam yeah. that. I'm like, eh, I'd rather iron it than I know girls it. like uh, those clothes steamers. Yeah. They love them. My sister-in-law is one of them. She hangs everything up, and there needs to be seen. Just steam it real fast. Yeah. It's not the same, though. Yeah, it's not the same, but I think ironing is much cleaner, much more crisp. It, yeah. 
Okay. But anyway, so if you're in New York tonight, Iron Man. Yeah. He'll be, uh, he'll be at a bar called the, was it? The Mallard, Mallard Drake. The Mallard Drake. Ironing. Tonight. Um, just drop off a couple of things and he'll iron them for you. There. Nice. <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm torn here. Because I have something pretty funny to share with y'all, but I am fascinated with something Tech D. Rob told us this morning about his life over the weekend. Either way, we're going to keep you wildly entertained. Coming up next. Hang on. Ace and Friends. Hey. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. This is Ace and Friends. The lottery tonight is huge. Yeah. Tonight is Powerball. Yeah. And it's what, $800 million? Yeah. Tuesday... Tuesday and Friday, that's Mega Millions. And it's over a billion dollars now, right? Like 1.1 yep. $1. billion. Yep. Friday, I was in the grocery store and bought two Mega Millions tickets mm. just because I saw that it was so big. Then I woke up Saturday, and I remember at one point I thought, oh, I should look at those Mega Millions tickets. And then I figured, no reason. I didn't win. Here's my theory on that. Don't you think if you won, you'd feel it? Like an intuition like, kind of thing. Would you feel that? Like, would you wake up if you were standing in your kitchen? No. You don't think that you'd be staying in your kitchen and think, I need to check that ticket. I got a feeling something good happened. No. no. I don't think I'd feel it. But I'm not a lottery ticket person, so yeah. I can't I can't say, but I don't think I would. Yeah, I have stopped playing. I hadn't really, I used to play the lottery all the time, but I, but I kind of gave it up for a while. And like I said, until the other day, I hadn't bought lottery tickets. I think the, the last time, I take that back. We had bought a couple lottery tickets one day. And then had the Powerball, which gets you $2 to get you more. And that had happened like three times in a row. And I, for a moment, I thought, uh-oh, no, might be leading this me to something. It. But that's not how it works. Do uh, do lottery winners say that? Like, I woke up and I just I could just feel No, there was a story the other day different. of a guy that won, uh, he won like a million dollars in the lottery. They matched everything with the Powerball or something. Uh, he won a million dollars like two months ago. Didn't even. And he never even bothered to check his ticket. And his wife finally found the tickets and checked them. That's what he found out that yeah. he won. So if two months, whatever, is it, six weeks, something like that, the guy's been walking around you know, with a million-dollar ticket, and he never even bothered to look at it. So clearly he didn't feel it. Yeah, It just feels like for that kind of money, I just I don't know. There's something about it that makes me think I would feel like I have I need to do Like I would wake up in the middle of the night. i got to check that ticket. Something tells you me i got to check that ticket. you got to get your third eye open. That's Yeah, that's not how it works <laughs> at all. At all, be sick though. Wouldn't it be if you could just, you know, mm. yeah, you could just feel the lottery? Mm -hmm. There is something. Riggins found this video, and I think we're gonna have to. I've got a couple questions for Rob from his weekend and about this card video that Riggins found. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Did you watch that? Yes. <laughs> what is going on in that? I yeah, we might know. have to ask Rob about it. We'll, we'll get to. We'll explain what happens in it next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help, because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now, and consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table & Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Ace and & Friends. So, 
Rob, you're playing a new card game now on the weekends, correct? Correct. It just right. came out a couple weeks ago. Okay, but you still like Pokemon? Uh, no, I haven't played physical Pokemon cards in a while, but I okay. still play it okay. online. Uh, so here, Riggins found this video, and it's the guy. This guy works at a game store. There's no real audio with it. I, I'll set it up, and then we'll describe yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, he works at a game store, and the people in the store making a purchase. Um, the guy that works there picks out some Pokemon booster packs for customers. Mm -hmm. And well, I'll start it, and we'll talk about exactly what, what what they're they're looking at as as we go along here. Uh, lady says we went to the card shop and had our friend Taylor choose sets for us. There are seven sets of cards. He spreads his hands out all over them, and then he goes. His eyes are closed. Okay. Pushes one forward. These four are the ones. Yeah, and then he pushes another one forward. Then he pushes another one forward. What is this? And his, his, his eyes are closed like he's feeling the cards, the Pokemon cards. Have you ever heard of such thing? I have not. He's like he like holding his hands over like he's trying to f feel the energy like from a, a seance certain, or a, a yeah. Ouija board or something. And then he close. Yeah, he's got his eyes closed, and then he silently pushes these packs forward and doesn't say anything else. Like yeah. he's the Pokemon shaman. It's crazy. So there, but there's nothing to that. You've never seen anybody do that before. The only thing I've ever seen is people uh, have weighed packs before, uh, because there's just a slight difference if you have like a, uh, you know, a scientific scale that that has lower digits. You know, um, but that's it. Just, just weighing. I, maybe he's doing something where he can feel. The what is weights. the wait? What is the? I don't understand. What What does the weight have to do? Um, with? So cards that are holographic, uh, where they're shiny and stuff, um, they have an extra layer inside the card, so they're gonna weigh just a little bit more, barely anything, but it's it's enough to where you could get it on like a like a gram scale or something like that. Wow. So I mean, unless he's just got really sensitive hand uh, weight situation, he could figure it out. No, I, this I, no, I, this looks supernatural. Like yeah. Okay. There's, there's no way he could tell the way because his hands are on top of it and they're sitting on top of the glass counter. So he's just touch barely touching the top of the box. I don't I don't understand. But, okay. Uh, nope. It's the nerdiest thing I've ever seen. It is it certainly it sounds like pretty it. wild. It is it is crazy wild. Because uh, no offense to anyone, but if you were to say Pokemon card nerd, the guy in the video, yeah. that's what he looks like in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without you even realizing that's what he looks like. That's who you think of immediately. And then he's got his eyes closed and he's running his hands across the top of these cards and slowly and very dramatically pushing one toward them. Oh, God. And you poo -hoo -hoo. I'll push two more toward yeah, It's so weird. <laughs> it's crazy. All while wearing a lanyard. <laughs> it's like there's nothing supernatural going on when you're wearing a lanyard. <laughs> uh, the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day involves our own Tech D. Rob and his, I don't know, intake over the weekend. <laughs> Next. Ace and Friends. Those Christmas bills are coming due, and that's why our friend Richard Takato, the Richard Takato Companies, is here to help you with an equity line of credit. That's right. That way you don't have to refinance your first mortgage and get all the equity that you want out of your house. Isn't that right, Ace? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> That's what I just did. I had such a good rate, I didn't want to refinance, but Richard helped me take money out of the equity to kind of get myself through the holidays and get set up for the first of the year. You can do it, too. It's very easy. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. That's homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you, a proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Ace and Friends. Sometimes it's topical. Sometimes it's important. Today, it's just because it's funny. This is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day from Ace and Friends. And it starts with Teddy Rob, who you essentially rendered yourself useless at your card game the other night. Uh, yeah, we were, we were playing a new board game that I'd never played before. And you did a mixture of a 25 ounce Four Loco. Correct. And Delta Eight. Right. That's how I started off the night. Yeah. Well, how did you finish off the night? Well, I had another 25 ounce beverage that wasn't a Four Loco. It was a if you've ever heard of Haritos, the, the drink, they have a hard Haritos now. It's pretty good. No idea what that is. Uh, they're, they're, it's like a Hispanic uh, drink company. They're in glass bottles. You've probably seen it. Okay, hang on. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So was the Four Loco a Four Loco pregame? Well, I, that's, I started off with the with the Four Loco. Okay. Like right when we got there, uh, Four Loco cracked it open. So okay, it's a so this is ready to so Four Loco the pregame the ready to drink mixed shots, thirteen point nine percent alcohol. Mine wasn't the shots version. It's a, it was a, they, they still make them in a can. It's a twenty five ounce can that I have. Okay, so. you said a straight up twenty five ounce can. Yeah. But that has twelve percent alcohol. Okay. Yeah. A high dose of caffeine has has unsuspecting drinkers feeling awake and not entirely aware of how drunk they are. I do, I don't think it has caffeine anymore because that was made illegal. All right, but they used to for sure. And then then what made you think Delta Eight was a good idea? I mean, I'm trying to party, man. Hey, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, and I'll tell you what, it was it was a daggum Loco USA for Loco. It was red, white, and blue on the can. Nice. And then what did you have after that? Another 25 ounce drink? Another 25 ounce drink that's called uh, Haritos is a is a brand. Um, let me see if I can find a picture to send. So the one that I had is called a Contaritos. It's made by Haritos and it is a Mandarin flavored uh, beverage, hard soda. It's okay. a hard soda. So Haritos, it's a J. J A R R I T O S. Yeah. Haritos. Yeah, and they're 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 like really popular in convenience stores. That yeah. brand. Uh, but then I saw this one and I was like, well, I love an orange, so I'll try a Mandarin one, and it was delicious. <laughs> you just bought one? Yeah, just I had two twenty-five ounce drinks. I figured fifty ounces of uh, alcohol was a good good number. He bought a four loco and a hard soda. <laughs> they're like, this guy's got a problem. <laughs> this guy's a drunk. Uh, who had the Delta Eight? Uh, when I got to my friend's house, they 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 do those from time to time, uh, and I usually don't partake because I got to drive home. But Meredith was driving me this time, so nice, DD. Yeah. And were you just like out of it on the way home? I I couldn't even tell you what I did in this board game that we played. Uh, it, it, I didn't. I wasn't the the worst person at the game somehow. But and another person at the table was like, "That makes it worse that I w- did worse than you because you don't know what's going on." You sank my battleship. Did didn't. Did Meredith say anything to you uh, Sunday? Like, hey, wow, you were pretty looped last night. No. Okay. Well, that's good. But there you go. Two 25-ounce alcoholic beverages and Delta 8. And what did you say, Riggins, this morning? It's like he... It's a speedball. Speed that's what it is. <laughs> he it's did like a speedball. Like a low-key speedball. <laughs> yeah. so. Ace and Friends. Hi, I'm Thomas Davis, and let me tell you why I'm a proud member of Team Neogenics. If your nagging pain is keeping you from being active, do something about it. Join the long list of pros and average Joes who have found relief with our stem cell and regenerative therapies. After trying all the others, I decided to try Neogenic. My knees and shoulders haven't felt this good since my college days. If you want to get back in the game, do what I did. Visit Neogenic, where all you have to lose is pain. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. This is Ace and Friends. We have found an old lady who is, I don't know, she's my spirit animal, a kindred spirit. I don't know what yeah. the proper term would be, but this lady's awesome. Um, there's a CVS on the corner right up here. And it has two of the, um, what do you call it? Self-checkout? Self-checkouts. Mm. Um, and I love going there because it's easy in, yeah, easy out. I like usually it. I'm going in self, usually I'm going into the CVS looking for something. I need deodorant or toothpaste One or something. You know, but boom, in, out, done. I don't have to yeah. wait in the line, blah, blah, blah. At the grocery store, I use the self-checkout regularly, but it's not as easy no because if you're buying wine or something like that you got to wait for somebody to come over and clear the pad and all that kind of stuff but check this lady out uh she is not having it uh the caption says this lady speaks for all of america i hate (laughs) self-checkouts i scanned one item already there it is right there now it says I've scanned two. I don't know what two. <laughs> <laughs> it's the She's going nuts. She's I hate self-checkout. I've scanned one item already. I run into this, and I ran into it twice over the weekend because I I went to the grocery store Friday, then ran back, maybe it, was, maybe it was Saturday, Sunday, ran in to get like one or two things. And when I'm self-checking, I went to enter Amanda's phone number because I thought that was the phone number that we had logged in. 
then it says well, that number's not found. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I'm, I don't know what number we use. So I hit like, go back just to go back to the next page. And then it freezes the machine oh. every time. It says you can't hit go back or something like that. I'm like, why can't I just want to go back to the screen? Now I got to wait for somebody to come over and. Why even have the go back button? Like, hey man, I'm hitting, you know, I, I got there and I hit go back. So I didn't, I didn't. But I guess once you try to enter a number, if you then don't enter a number, it, it won't proceed. But I don't have a number then to enter. So mm -hmm. what do I have to do? I want to go back to the other screen and kick out of that and pay and go home. Yeah. But I can't. I got to wait on somebody to come over. It's uh, very frustrating. I would just abandon it. I'd go to the Just walk away. Yeah. I'm just going to leave all the stuff. There's six yeah. things here. I'm just going to walk off and Bounce. see you later. Yeah, it sounds like what I would do. Do you self check out, Rob? Oh, I, I only use self check out. Yeah, he's only. If if there's a place that has it, I'll wait a little bit longer to use self check out. If I have to, usually I don't. Most it seems like most people in grocery stores are avoiding yeah. self check. If you go in a Walmart, they may have twenty of them and seventy people waiting to use the self check out. Yeah. Sometimes it's shocking how long the line is. Target as well, same yeah, thing. Yeah, they're saying they're going to get rid of them at Walmart though because they're losing money because of theft. Yep. Trash. They're saying that to use it, you'll have to have their Walmart Plus to use self checkout now. What, that's the, what is Walmart Plus? Their, uh, right their now, app right or something? Right now, it gets you, it's like Amazon Prime, so you can get uh, cheap early. Uh, cheap, fast shipping. Also, get like delivery service from uh, for groceries. Oh, as well. oh, I didn't know about that. <laughs> oh, so, you'll have to have that. Everybody else will just have to go through the regular checkout lines like normal people. That's what they're saying. Well, it's going to come to that because eventually they're going. Yeah, they're you start losing money like that. People start stealing. That's going to they're going to put the shutdown on that. Mm -hmm. We have a question um, that I think is pretty interesting, and I'd be curious to see what everybody thinks the answer should be. What this person should do uh, next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Maybe you have heard that this is not the time to be buying a house. Well, you have heard wrong, and you haven't heard from our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here today. Is this a time to buy a house, Richard? Well, the thing I tell everybody, it's time to buy a house when you need one. And there's always so much <laughs> hype about this. Or that, you know, if you need a house, you should contact us. You know, it's, it's nonsense, TJ, not to buy a house for me. And this is why. We have the mortgage company. We have the realtors. We have the closing agencies. And we discount everything. That's the thing that you don't hear in the purchase market. You get a great deal. Not only are you going to buy a house, we're going to give you unbelievable on the mortgage, help you out with the closing. It's something that really needs to be talked about in the market because nobody does it. It's one place where you can do everything and save yourself some money in the process. Yeah, that's the thing. Car dealers talk about buy a car for me, save a bunch of money. Well, buy a house for me and save a ton of money. It's, it's that simple. It's super easy to do. Just yeah. call 704-800-4719 or homewithrichard.com. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. Ace and Friends. All right, I was asked a question, and I want to see what everybody thinks. Uh, I said, hey, man, I've got a friend who just hired another friend of mine. The guy's a douche and not a good person. Do I have an obligation to tell my friend that was a bad hire, or do I just let it go and watch what happens? Mm. So here's how it's written, though. Remember, I have a friend who just hired another friend of mine. So he does use the word friend, friend for both. The guy's a douche and not a good person. <laughs> Do I have an obligation to tell my friend that was a bad hire or let it go and watch what happens? Friends like these. I, I, here, I say you don't do anything. Because if you go to this person and say, hey, by the way, the guy you just hired is a douchebag. And he's going to be terrible. Well, you've already tainted him, and there might be, he may not, that may just be my opinion that he's a douche. Yeah. He, there, he may be very professional. He may be yeah. excellent at the job. And so, there's no you, reason for you to go in and taint that by saying, hey, I think the guy's a douchebag. Yeah. But doesn't it kind of like make you look like a kind of a bad guy just because you go talk crap about a dude the first time you ever uh, introduce him? Yeah. To the I dude? think it does. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think I'd like that if I was a, a boss somewhere. I'd be like, Okay, thank you. Yeah, like if yeah. you, if Rob, if you hired Riggins and I came to you and said, hey, just so you know, he's kind of a douchebag. It'd be like, well, first off, he's never even worked here yet. So th that's not cool. Yeah. I don't know. I, I liked the guy. It also, I think it sort of, it, 
it, it's a poor reflection. It means my opinion of you as a person making hiring decisions mm -hmm. isn't very good. That you couldn't already right. see the guy. This person's a douchebag. You know what I mean? And if the, and if the dude turns out to not be a douchebag, then it makes you look. Then even you're worse. the douchebag at that point. Yeah. Then it's even worse for you. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. All right. So then we're all agreed. You, just, yeah. you should stay out of it and leave it alone. I think so. I just thought it was a fun question that makes you just like, hey, you need to. It's nothing but a poor reflection on you because anything you say reflects poorly on your friend. Also makes the person who who does the hire feel like a douchebag. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, yeah you, you should have been able to judge character better than this. That is a lose-lose. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. just keep it to yourself. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. There's something I've been saying for a long time. And Riggins has found audio, more proof that uh, I am right. And more people are coming around to my way of thinking. And that is next. More Ace and Friends coming up. coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. The last solar eclipse was in our back. Party. And they send a picture of all of them standing out on the dock watching. That shit suck, Dick. Why did, <laughs> why did you just pour? I think the uh, the circumstances under which we were there also really. That was fucking idiotic. Because we weren't there having fun. We were there in a shit working environment. With Jonathan Reed, right? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm about to save this here. Okay. On the way to you now. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Open this. And look at all these idiots staring right at the sun. Yeah. <laughs> There's like 20 people just staring directly at the sun. <laughs> Live a little, man. Stare in the sun. It's good for you. You won't ever get to stare in the sun again in your life. Here you go. You ready? Coming up on Ace and Friends. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Here we go. Ace and Friends. And I've gotten totally sidetracked now because. Okay, what is. Today's the lunar eclipse? I think we've already missed the lunar eclipse. Okay, but then there's a solar eclipse in a couple of weeks or yeah, something, that's right? The eighth of uh, right. April. Now, it, the solar eclipse is not going to be here like it was last time. Um, right over the area I, I or whatever. I think it's further towards the, to, further to the west this time. Okay. But somebody sent a message. We were talking about it on the Ace and TJ show this morning, and Riggins talked about how stupid he thought the last one was. It was horrible. We, we did not have a good time. We drove to Columbia to be a part of it with 104.7 WNOK. And um, it was, uh, well, it was just so much traffic because it went right over columbia yeah right right over it and we did not anticipate it would take several hours to get into town and then even more hours to get out of town yeah it took us it took us two and a half hours to make an hour-long drive to get home yeah it was a long time in the middle of the week God. but i thought it was really cool like the moment the solar eclipse part i thought was really cool Riggins, you did not. No, I didn't think it was. You fun. thought it was just stupid. It was lame. <laughs> it was so lame. So a guy just sent a picture and said, "Riggins, you need to live a little bit." The last one went right over, you know, our town, and he showed a picture of all of them out on the dock looking up, and I guess they're looking at all just looking up at the sun, <laughs> which I thought you weren't supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know the rules, but I, I, I feel always like you're not supposed to do that. I remember when I was a kid, they took us outside for some kind of an eclipse. It had to be a solar a solar eclipse. And they, we made little things you could view it through that would show you, like they used it with cardboard or whatever, that you could see what it looked like. So you, could, you, had, you held it because you weren't supposed to look directly at it because it would blind you. Yeah, I remember doing say. that too. I don't know if that's real or not. 
I doubt it. <laughs> is, but, I, mean, I don't know if something about the rays will blind you, or that's some bullshit they told us when you were in Louisiana as a kid. I don't understand how pi- it's possible that looking at the sun when it's mostly covered is worse than looking at the sun when it's not when it's uncovered. I don't understand that part. Yeah. I swear to y'all, I thought it was some kind of thing about the the, the rays are different. Yeah. Like when the sun's covered, the rays come off the sun differently, and it's like ultraviolet light that'll blind you. Yeah, they're like, like slingshotting around the moon this time. Yeah, it's exactly. I'm like damn Icarus <laughs> of Louisiana. <laughs> don't find you close. That's right. It's so weird. I don't know if any of that is true or not. Probably none of that is Maybe. true. That's exactly what I thought when I was a kid. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Now, now we'll get to the thing I wanted to share with y'all a minute ago, where somebody has finally come around to my way of thinking about old people. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Ace and Friends. I, I have, I've told everybody for a long time that I think old people are not nearly as cool as they used to be. Like I used to love when I was a kid, and even as I got older, hanging out with my grandparents. And um, my grandmother, when I was in my 20s, I loved going to just hang out with my grandmother. Um, just like one of the sweetest, kindest, most Christian ladies you would ever hang around. But she was just fun to talk to and hear about her life. And I always thought old people had so many cool things to do. And like when I was in high school, we'd go to the um, to the uh, VA, to the Veterans Administration, Veterans Place. On Monday nights, they did bingo. And um, one of the clubs I was in in high school that was one of our activities was a service organization called the Key Club for Athletes. We would go and do bingo and everything. <laughs> Uh, because the guys were so cool, the men and women were so cool to be around. But old people, not as cool as they used to be. And Riggins found this TikTok. Gen Z? I think so. Yeah. Um, who explains she has a problem with old people now? Yeah, crossing the street. Crossing she hates street. old people crossing One the street. One of my favorite things that old people do is when they're like crossing in a crosswalk and I'm coming up to the red light, I'm breaking, breaking enough. Like I, I give my pedestrian's good space and then um someone just puts their hand up like this <laughs> calm down magneto my foot is gonna stop this car <laughs> before your <laughs> hand does my guy i it's so silly that it enrages me <laughs> <laughs> she's right calm down my magneto yeah. calm down magneto <laughs> yeah old people just like mm. I got it, old man. Yeah, I'm not going to hit you. Don't worry. Don't you worry. And I'm, at first, I'm not even close to you. Yeah. And I don't want, I don't expect old guy to speed up. Yeah. You what I do guy. want is either some acknowledgement, like, hey, I'm doing the best I can here, or something. Like, just don't hold your hand out telling me to stop. I got to stop. I'm stopping. I'm not going to hit you. Yeah. Give me a wave. Give me something that lets me know I'm aware you're there. My old ass is doing the best I can right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm asking. As fast as I can. That doesn't happen in the city. When you live in the city, people will just walk right in front of you, and yeah. it's like, you know, get out of the way. I'm I'm walking through here. I don't care. It happens up here at this uh, this grocery store, right here on the corner, all the time. You go across that parking lot. A lot of old people there, and it's just like it's. They'll cut you off. They're just walking across, and and you're trying to you get out of your car and you're walking in, and they get close to the door, and then they kind of take up space where you try to step around. And they just cut you off, and yeah, you got to you got that weird stutter step. Like oh yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, run them down. Go ahead, Bonnie and Clyde. I got time for you to <laughs> get in the store, and I'll figure out a way to get around you. I got all day. Yeah, and there's one over here that has a bar in it. And you go in there sometimes in the afternoon, and it looks like there are 50 old people sitting around. Yeah, just Drinking, chilling. taking up all the space, blocking up all the aisles. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's what they want because they're, they're spending money. But It's pretty sweet. I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be I old love to do that. Hang out at the grocery store yeah. bar every Thursday afternoon. Hell yeah. yeah. Ace and Friends. What a joy it is to be back with our old friend Richard Toccato of the Richard Toccato Companies. 
Is that the way you wanted me to say it? I think so. <laughs> that was like we really know each other. Great. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, appreciate it. Hey, Richard, will you sell my house? I'll guarantee you an offer, and then I'll flip it for forty or fifty thousand dollars profit. <laughs> 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 or I could list it for you. I just did. A lady called since she wanted to sell her house. She'd been offered two hundred sixty thousand dollars for it. I sold it for three hundred and nine thousand dollars. Do the math on that one, Ace. I mean, that's money she makes. That's money that profits her. That's her benefit by using you to sell her house. Yeah, instead of me buying it guaranteed, yeah. I listed it, and she made $49,000 by working with a real estate agent. It's very easy. Here's what you do. It all starts by going to homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. There's such flexibility there. You'll be astonished at all the things you can do. Again, homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. It makes no sense to work with anybody but me. Ace and Friends. Uh, Sometimes you'll run across something and think, yes. I don't know if I would have done that, but that's the right thing to do. That's what that kid needed to have done to him or her at that time. Uh, And this is a video. How how old would you say this guy is? We're in late 20s? Yeah. Late 20s? Um, He's at a rock climbing place explaining what happened the previous day with a seven-year-old's birthday party. These kids are cooked, man. They're done. We had a kid's birthday party yesterday. And I had a kid come up to me with a iPhone and go, hey, can I get the Wi-Fi code? I said, no, you can't. All right, you're seven at a rock climbing birthday party. What are you expecting a work email from Paw Patrol? Get out of my face, (laughs) go play. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Man, we're rock climbing, you're seven years old. You should be jumping on something or climbing up something or falling off something. It's a birthday party. Yeah. But maybe bring First off, why does a seven-year-old, seven-year-old shouldn't have a phone to begin with? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of wild in itself. Yeah. I mean, my kids were middle school, 12, I think, maybe 13, when they each got a phone. Yeah. I think that was seven? Seven. At a birthday party. I get maybe, you know, you got to call your mom to come pick you up or something. But I feel like, I don't know, if you're at a birthday party, but you know what? I, it's like there's, I don't, there's I, a set time. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to sound like the old guy, but, you know, for hundreds of years, thousands of years, hey, what time is it over? What time do I need to pick him up? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be done by, we'll be done by four. Yeah, but it's usually sounds pa- good. It's usually parents that make the justification for the kid having the phone. So they can call me so I know where they are. It's never like the kid, like, I need this because phone. Because it makes their, well, the kid will beg for it, but it makes the yeah. parents' life easier. You yeah, know, so. It, in this case, just the, be a, it's a seven-year-old kid at a birthday party. Party starts at two, party's over at four. Be there at 345. Yeah, I get it. Maybe 330 if you want to come in and hang out a little bit and say hello to the other parents while you're there. Yeah. It's very simple. It's the way we've done it for thousands of years. Yeah. But like Life 360, parents want to be involved in their kids every, you know, every move they make. I've got a I've got a very good friend of mine who's uh when his first daughter went to college, his wife kept them on everybody was on Life 360. And he said they would be sitting around when she first went to college, like, uh, it is eleven forty five at night or it is midnight. Where is she going? He's like, mm-hmm. you need to cut that. You got to cut that off, man. I mean, that's it's crazy. <laughs> He's like, that's going to drive you nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, she's 18 years old. She's in college. I don't know where she's going, but you probably don't want to know where she's going right now. Yeah. Either. I'm going a, I'm to a call her and find out. Yeah, no, that's a good uh, idea. You know, he's like, that's the worst thing you could do is let her know that you're monitoring everything that she does at college. She's two hours away. Yeah. You know. These it's, kids are cooked, it's, man. It's, it's, it's hard. I get it. It's hard when you to, to not check up on somebody. Give me the when Wi-Fi it, password. Yeah, when it's a kid like that. But yeah, that kid come in needing the Wi-Fi password. You're seven, man. Go climb on something. Go fall off and get hurt. Or I'm something. just trying to play Roblox. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly how. <laughs> that's how sad it is. Ace and friends. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers they are blooming, and as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry. Does one ask a fish if it swims, or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. We played this game a little earlier, and I have some more of these questions that I love. Um, Ask a millennial, 
and I do a better job. You need to know this is a song title. You ready? Uh, welcome to the Hotel Blank. California. Okay. California. Yeah, you both would have gotten that. California. We didn't want to be starting something to sing. All right. Uh, it's a group. Danny, Donnie, Joe, John, and... Oh. oh. I know that's New Kids on the Block, but it, I couldn't even it tell It is you. New Kids on the Block. So, uh, Danny, Donnie, Joe, John, and... Uh, I don't know. Jordan. 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 Uh, 902... 102. 10. Okay. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm not even going to bother with that one. <laughs> I got it. Uh, Will and Grace. Grace, TV show. Uh, Dawson's Creek. Creek. Obviously. Walker. Texas Ranger. Well done. Uh, Like a virgin, blanked. Touched. For the very first time. Yes, Rob. Good job. Well done, Rob. I'm old. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I didn't think that. You're 38, Rob. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But you have, having had much older brother you have a much older brother and sister yeah my brother's nine years older than me but my sister's 13 years older than me yeah so you you got a wider cross section of of um pop culture references and all than most people would have yeah because my sister loved movies like the outsiders breakfast club all that kind of stuff so i mean she was living in the 80s technically yeah and and riggins your oldest brother matt is how is five years older than you uh yeah okay uh, yeah, so there, y'all are much closer in in from re- reference points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, is there anything in particular that you always think of, like do you remember seeing with him, or one of the first things that he turned you on to, like whether it was music or a movie or something like that? Like, mm. oh, that's something that turned me on to. I mean, Dave Matthews. You know, I used to go to the concerts with him, but even that felt like old. It's like this is old people music. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a lot of them. So, and how old were you going to see the first time you saw Dave Matthews? You were how old? Middle school. And even you then, know, you were like, "This is this is old." Yeah, he might have been sixteen or seventeen driving us up there, so I was twelve. Yeah. So yeah, I was in middle school. You're like, I mean, I like the music, but I was like, "Yeah, it's a lot of old people here." Even though oh, really? he was like eighteen year eighteen years old. Wait, so it was a lot of old people there. I mean, they were eighteen and twenty one, and you know, but to me, I was they like, seemed this old. Is a lot of old people. Like, this is old man. And cargo shorts and you know, yeah. I don't know. It was just old people. When you go to a concert with your brother, who is very outgoing, and um, um, he likes to keep you informed, of, does he tell you this is like this is the best? That's the yeah, best. Yeah, Watch yeah. this part. Watch this. Yeah. Part. He's always telling you what to do. Like, yeah, and like pay attention it, to this. Thought it was very cool to like leave before the concert ends. Like you don't stay to the end. You're not like a douchebag. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he kind of shaped my sensibility with a lot of things. Yeah, and so now you don't stay to a concert. If you go to a concert, you don't stay until the end. No, hell no. Yeah, don't be a tool. (laughs) Ace and Friends. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. I got to admit, I keep forgetting something, but I want to try to do this. Maybe tomorrow. We've got to figure out a way for Tate D. Rob to practice parallel park. I've got to see Tate D. Rob parallel park. <sighs> yeah, couldn't, people couldn't believe that. Yeah, I They've think never we'll, done it. we'll do it with chairs. Uh, these rolling chairs would work great because that way, like like this one over here, because it, it won't hurt it if he hits it. Yeah. And we'll back it up. A lot of people also agreed with him. That the woman said, I'm 38 and I've never done it yeah. either. I was yeah. very surprised by that. And, yeah. and then our former intern, Adam, pointed out that I had a lot in common with all the women in the conference. Oh, did he? That it was, there were, I did notice, yeah, Rob, that a couple of the people who said they had never done it, they were, they were all women. I don't think I saw any dudes, but. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. <sighs> yeah, because if you grew up in the South, you probably learned how to drive from your uh, your parents at a young age, and that would probably be included. But I mean, yeah, but I park. Yeah, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's Pineville, Louisiana. There was no, wasn't a lot of parallel parking. You didn't park on the fair. street a lot. You yeah, know what I mean? I, I learned. I definitely learned that in driver's ed. But um, they didn't. They didn't teach me that in driver's ed. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, my, really? Yeah, they never. <laughs> they never got to it. 
because we ain't got time for that. I've told yeah. you, I told y'all before, it was me and two other people, so I guess we were kind of like overbooked for it. So I'm guessing they just gave, we just had to split up the time th- three ways. And you got the crash course. Yeah. So instead of driving and uh, whatever it is, 45 minutes or an hour a piece, y'all had to split it up into you know, each drove like 30 minutes a day or something. Probably, yeah. I mean, I, I don't remember specifically, but I remember being overbooked. That's worrisome. <laughs> We've got an uneducated yeah. driver out there. And they just decide, let's just pass it. Yeah, and then the first time we go on the road, somebody drives on the wrong side of the road immediately. Yeah. Ooh. So we didn't we didn't get the best uh, driving education. <laughs> but at the end, everybody passes, so it's okay. Because yeah, they just wanted to get them out of there. Yeah, my dad taught me how to parallel park, but I think most of it came from learning how to um, back up race car trailers. Mm, that how, you know how to back trailers up and everything. That's kind of the, where I got my my education, learning how to parallel park. <laughs> so he did. I mean, but again, I never I never parallel parked until I went to college. There was never any reason, you know. Again, it's Pineville, Louisiana. You don't park on the street anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you could, yeah. but usually you just pull right in because there wasn't that much traffic on the yeah. street for anything. Hmm. It's just not something you have to do. But when you move to a city, it becomes standard fare. I parallel park all the time now. And I can't believe, Rob, how many things that r- regularly you've skipped things because if you couldn't find a parking spot you could pull into or turn into, you were just out. Right. Yeah, I'm not doing that. And nobody's ever gotten upset. Like, are you kidding me? You just, have you ever left a work event because you're like, I can't get, can't, can't, I, I, there, all I can do is parallel park and I'm not doing it. No, I don't think so. I, well, I've good. always gotten pretty lucky with that. I'll leave in a second. I mean, if, the cl- if there's too many clouds... <laughs> I'm out this I'm out this place. Hey guys, there are too many clouds. I can't I make can't, it. I can't do it. More Ace and Friends coming up. coming up. It's more than just a great room that makes the Hyatt-centric South Park Charlotte such a special hotel. It's the great restaurants, the great bar, the great meeting rooms, and a superior location. Make reservations and get details at acetj.com slash Hyatt. This is Ace and Friends. And thus, we're at the end of another great edition. Well, I'm sorry. Thus, we're at the end of another edition of Ace and Friends. Um, so, uh, Teddy Rob, favorite thing from today's edition, uh, today's episode of Ace and Friends? I don't remember my favorite, but I can tell you my least favorite is that you're still on this parallel parking thing. I, I'm, <laughs> I, was, I was hoping that was going to go away. I just want to see. I th- I'm, I'm fascinated by this. I want to see how it turns out. <sighs> yeah, I am curious. See how badly. Like, if it's really bad, that's going to be great. Nobody wants to see you successfully parallel park. <laughs> yeah, it's like, do you put? Here's what I've thought too. Do I pull? Like, do I put my car you know, no. out here where he has to pull up and park like behind my car? So he's back. He's backing around my car into a space where a, a chair would 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 be. You know what I'm saying? No, but if you want to use your car, that's fine. I think, I think that's a bad it, idea. I think he's saying it's safer if the, his car's parallel parked in front of mine. Yes, because that's the one you line up with, and then you kind of back. Right, into because it. that's what like you you're, you you are supposed to pull up alongside to where the side view mirrors are next to each other. Mm-hmm. Then you start the backing in process. Yeah, but I also then think, you know, what if I you know steer wrong and I'm looking behind me and I end up putting the right front of mine into the left back of yours well let's just don't do that yeah, how about we I, let's just not let's just not do this whole parking because <laughs> <thing. laughs> yeah. i can't make any promises yeah i've got time we'll, we'll get it set up for tomorrow i think that'll be that'll be great yeah, maybe up. use the chairs uh favorite thing from today's edition of ace and friends um rob overdosing oh my god <laughs> i love that story and what was it again four loco a uh, four loco a haritos hard soda uh, and uh, an edible, and I don't even know what the milligram was on that edible. But I asked the person who gave it to me, "Do I need to split it in half?" She goes, "No, you're fine." Yeah, that's what every drug is. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. Don't you're worry fine. About it. Don't spend it. Ace and friends. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato companies. We worked with Richard for years and you know all the ins and outs and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right, we have a lot of options. You know, this one lady, we just refinanced her house paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re- she even paid her car off. She's saving $1,000 a month. So that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being. Yeah. And she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024. So, I mean, there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month. They call it cash out. 
is what we call it in the business. Cash out. Cash out. <laughs> That's right. Cash out. So it's one free five-minute phone call right now, 704-800-4719, 704-800-4719, or go to homewithrichard.com. Do it today. You'll be so glad you did. The Richard Ducato Companies.